What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are taking a look at one of my favorite energy weapons in all of Fallout 76 for heavy gunner builds. We have the Plasma Caster. Starting off over the weapon, this is it. This is our 3-star legendary Plasma Caster that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the Bloodied Effect, which is damage increases as your health decreases, has the Vats critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a plus 1 to perception. This Plasma Caster is absolutely god tier. And the mods that we're using with it is the Prime Capacitor, Aligned Sniper Barrel, Standard Sight, and the Default Appearance. Over in the build, these are the base stats that make up my in-game bloodied heavy gunner build that we're using for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats with the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up the in-game heavy gunner build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this so can have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. We have locked and loaded maxed out, your heavy guns reload 30% faster. We have blocker maxed out, take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 3, and this so can have concentrated fire maxed out. That's targets limbs, focus fire to gain high accuracy damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 6 and this so we can have Kin Fiend at 2 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer and we're taking Overdrive and Psycho Buffs in this video. We have Fireproof maxed out, take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out, the greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 7 and this so we can have Lone Wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% to less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Tenderizer maxed out, make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this so we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, they gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% AP regen. We have Stabilized maxed out. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Over in Agility, we have 14, and this so can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Gun Fu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% then 30% to damage to your next three targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15, and this so can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have One Gun Army maxed out. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Serendipity at 1 star. While both 30% health gain a 15% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Class Freak maxed out. The negative effects from your mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. But this is it. These are all the normal perk cards to make up my in game heavy gunner build that we're using for the video. Now let's get into my legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up my in game heavy gunner build that we're using for the video. Starting off in intelligence, we have that at two stars. We have endurance maxed out, strength at one star, luck at two stars, electric absorption at one star, and far flung fireworks at two stars. These are all the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor and my mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of T65 Overeaters power armor. And the reason we went with Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. And if you eat a perfect bubblegum that will stay filled for a full hour so that is absolutely fantastic for us over the mutations these are all the mutations that we're using for the build we have adrenal reaction bird bones eagle eyes egghead healing factor marsupial sky skin and speed demon this is it though this is my complete power armor plasma caster loadout and now let's get into some demonstrations to begin our demonstrations with the all powerful plasma caster we've made our way to the one the only the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name lenny we're gonna start by blasting lenny in the face 903 right off the back. That is absolutely ridiculous. There we go. A 1,029. Lenny, I'm gonna need you to relax. We're practicing. Remember, this is just practice. Do not get mad, sir. Okay, why do I have to reload? What in the heck just happened there? We're gonna blast you in the face. There we go. A 903. Okay, his health is not dropping. Are y'all watching that? There we go. 1,029 straight to his face. Lenny, you get one more shot, and we're gonna do this one outside of that. There we go. And just like that, Lenny is now a pile of goo. The next band of buffoons on our list for the demonstrations are all the West Techians located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're gonna start with this guy, okay? Because he shot at me. He shot first. Y'all seen it. Now we're gonna try to hit this guy. There we go. And as you can see, we can one-shot just about anyone with this gun. Get off me, you stupid suicider. Uh-oh, we got a puppy. There we go, you poor, poor doggy. You weren't supposed to be a part of this fight. But now we have to take down this floater also. Here we go, sir. We're gonna shoot you in the eyes. There we go. Ooh, 420. 420. 480 something. I don't know. But 420. Oh, God. Need to watch out for my health. Woo! Was not paying attention there. Okay, we're just gonna walk through. We're gonna blast this Dude, 2,502. Oh, God, we got another floater. Let's just take out this floater real quick. Where did this ice one come from? Get off me, you stinking floaters. Why are y'all here for support? All right, now we're going to hit these guys outside of that. There we go. One, two, maybe. There we go. 736. Not bad at all. All right, what about inside of that? 1,323. That is way better. And as you can see, we can also survive just about anything coming at us. Bring it on. This is the power of the Mech 
build. I'm sorry, Super Mutant Warlord. I'm gonna have to blast you in the face and embarrass you in front of all your friends. The next Wasteland creature on our list for the demonstrations is one of the most foul creatures in all of Fault 76. We have the level 100 man-eating Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs, and she is full force right now, just coming at me with her poison and about to attack me. Oh my god, get up on the roof. <gasps> hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Krabs, you need to calm down so I can obliterate your face, please, and Thank you, one more shot, and I think you're gonna be done for. And looky there, the Mylers could not withstand the power of the Plasma Caster. But look how disgusting that was. We got a bunch of eggs and a bunch of more Mylers hatchings just coming on out. Let me just kill those real quick. That's just wrong of her. If you enjoy fall content like this and you wanna see more, I also made a video for one of the best pistols in all of Fault 76. So if you wanna check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my 10 millimeter video.